great way to end the road trip. Well, you know what? It was a good trip, and uh, we talked about it before the game. Is that we wanted to make it a great trip uh, with a win like that. I mean, that's uh, it's huge. Uh, you know, we 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 dug deep. You know, for uh, for energy uh, for one, and then uh, you know we we blocked some shots. Uh, Yann Denis was good in net, and a uh, great play uh, in overtime uh, for for the winning goal. So uh, I mean. Uh, you know what? Uh, we know at this time. Uh, you know, uh, with uh, depleted uh, depleted lineup and uh, opportunities for for guys, uh, we know that we have to keep the score a low score and uh, also to keep it tight if we want to if we want to win hockey games. And uh, you know what? Guys are working working hard and working together. Absolutely, especially a week ago in this same building. Were you were you pleased with how disciplined the play was tonight and just good communication out there? It seemed a lot of energy. Well, one of the key points tonight was to, to initiate and not retaliate, and uh, I think we did a good job at that. Uh, you know, uh, obviously they scored a goal on, the, on their power play, but they have a really good power play. And, uh, and then after that, when uh, when we did take other penalties, you know, the, the, the PK did a good job. You know, uh, we had good clears. Uh, we had some block shots, and uh, Yann Denis made some big saves. This is an especially long road trip. Mm-hmm. Well, I have to be pleased, you know, uh, not just with uh, with the points that we got, but you know, the effort, uh, the the teamwork, uh, the way that we approached every game, and uh, and, and the never quit uh, attitude that we had. Uh, and we got point in uh, I think what eight games of ten, uh, so it's huge for us. And now uh, we got to you know follow up at home and uh, make sure that we start uh, you know next Friday against Hartford, uh, you know, the, the right way. Switching gears just a little bit, uh, any comments on, on your selections for the All-Star game with uh, Lindgren and Barbario both being selected? Well deserved. Well deserved. Uh, Barbario, obviously, uh, you know, I don't think he'll be there, uh, but it's uh, it's a great nomination for him, and it shows also, uh, you know, what he's done for us, uh, not only this year, but last year. Uh, not easy for him, especially this year, to, to come down at the start of the year, and uh, he knew he didn't have a good training camp, and he wanted to get his game back. And uh, you know, he sure did a hell of a job for us, uh, especially you know, uh, uh, with the amount of time that he uh, he played uh, every game, uh, played in every situation, and he worked so hard. And uh, he had a great attitude. Uh, you know, he's, he's a true pro, and uh, he was a great example for uh, for our young guys. And then uh, Charlie Lindgren, I mean. Uh, Right now, he's probably our MVP. You know, if, if we're honest with each other, and uh, uh, you know, he's he's maybe on this trip uh, a couple games where uh, you know maybe he was tired, and uh, understandably because uh, when Yann Denis was home, uh, you know, for for his wife uh, to deliver uh, their third child, uh, you know, Charlie hold the fort, and uh, he did a really good job. Walking through this game a little bit, especially compared to last week, this was a, a complete. Yeah, it was a little bit more discipline on e- on each side. There wasn't as many uh, penalties and fights and you know major penalties and stuff like that. It was more kind of skill and um, kind of running gun offense. It, it appeared like everyone kind of chances on both sides. So it was a li- little bit more control than last game. Absolutely. What's it like? You know, especially this is a especially long road trip. For yeah. Being out for a yeah. Month. How do you keep your energy up? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, I haven't traveled this much ever, um, being from college. So it's 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 been a, it's been a fun trip. I it's kind of broken up with Christmas, which was nice, and then um, got to see some family when I was here too. So for me, it was a little bit easier um, to kind of get to break some things up. But it's been uh, it's been a challenge for sure. What's uh, what's your season been like with the team so far? How, how are things feeling for you? Yeah, it's been good. I mean, the first that you you learn a lot when you first come here. It's a new team. It's a new system, and. You're trying to do all the little things that um, make you a pro uh, that you kind of got to learn. So it's been a learning curve for sure, and I, I feel really good about my game the last couple of weeks, and hopefully we can keep progressing. If you had to scout yourself, how would you describe yourself as a player? Um, I think uh, kind of the new generation mobile two-way defenseman, strong defensively, um, can push the pace, and, and when given an offensive opportunity, I can take advantage of it. Are there any guys uh, you particularly have some chemistry with, either on the ice or, or off the ice? Yeah, I mean, some of the college guys are always gravitate towards each other. Just, na- I guess that's natural. Um, but the whole team's been there—a bunch of great guys, good chemistry, um, and we've, we've been having fun on and off the ice in the room. So. Before we get to the game, let's talk a little bit about your big news. How's yeah. it feel signing your uh, your two-year two-way contract? I mean, really good. I, f- I mean, I've been working uh, for that for a while now. Um, ever since uh, I didn't get drafted, I didn't stop. I just kept going and. Uh, I always saw an opportunity. Um, my coaches, uh, starting from from junior, always believed in me. And then uh, coming up here last year, 
it was a little bit of a short season, but uh, I uh, established well. I, I got a lot of ice time that the games I played, and this year, uh, yeah, the most important thing for me was just to step my game up. And uh, I feel like so far I've done a good job, and uh, yeah, it's been a dream come true. It's been uh, something I've been waiting for for a while now, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's great that it worked out that way. Absolutely. What, talk to me a little bit about what that's like as an athlete. You know, as you said, you weren't drafted to have that drive and that passion to just keep working and knowing that if you keep doing it, good things are going to happen. I mean, it's. Uh, Growing up, uh, I mean, you always see the, see the video games or you see the superstars in the NHL, and uh, I feel like that just gave me the drive. Like, uh, I have a lot of friends at home, and uh, a lot of them told me, uh, yeah, you're going to play in the NHL one day, and back then it was just like, uh, uh, not a joke to me, it was just like, uh, yeah, right, like, we'll see, whatever. I, I just did my best, uh, just had fun with hockey, and uh, yeah, as soon as I graduated high school, I, I decided to make a step over, and then I, I actually saw a chance, and uh, yeah, it's it's uh, great. Talk to me a little bit about tonight's game. This was uh, much different than last week's 60 minutes. It was, uh, yeah, we had a way better start this time. Last week's, uh, we were down 4 nothing right away. Even though we came back, uh, it was tough to find our way all the way back into the game and tied up. Today, we were just, uh, we, we uh, got the lead early on, um, kept playing with it. They scored, but we didn't, we didn't uh, back off. Like, we, we kept pressuring them. Even though they had more shots than we did, I feel like we didn't give them any any real quality chances. And uh, yeah, eventually we uh, we had 20 more minutes to go to finish the road trip off, and uh, we wanted to to finish it off with two points. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you didn't let up last night either. Talk to me a little bit about your goal last night. I mean, uh, we knew it was going to be a grind against Binghamton. It always is. Um, they they were leading almost the whole game with that that, that one nothing lead and. Uh, we didn't want to stop. Um, the end, like I just, I just went on the ice. Uh, Fry shot the puck on net. Uh, v tipped it, and I just uh, whacked at the rebound till it was in. Like it's then, uh, unfortunately, we got the loss in the shootout. But uh, I feel like that was a big point for us. Absolutely. And uh, what's it like for you when you hear you, know, you come off the ice tonight and you hear things like Nikita Shcherbak got his first, first NHL goal tonight? How's that make you feel? I mean, it's awesome uh, knowing those guys now. Like uh, as I said. Uh, Growing up, you just you just hear about all these NHL stars and everything, and uh, you, you don't personally know them now. Uh, I've played with, with quite a few, I've seen quite a few, and uh, knowing Sherby, uh, we've been friends for, for two years now, ever since I, uh, I went to Montreal's camp. Um, great news for him, I'm really excited, everyone in the room's really excited. Uh, better Sally, that I think, <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, but uh, yeah, we're all we're really, really uh, happy for him.